So an exercise I've been doing with my clients lately is one called um, sacrifice and uh, suffering. So getting my clients to write that on one side, on the other side we write delayed gratification and patience, right? So the idea is everyone knows training is a ball ache. All the things you have to do to maintain this healthy body, it's not going to be very convenient, but we've got to figure out why we do it and why it's worth it. And kind of learn to use that in the sessions as we're training. So write down all the things that are annoying about training, all the things like, I don't know, having to kind of sacrifice on the foods you enjoy eating sometimes for a period of time if you're trying to lose some body fat or having to make sure you hit your protein goals or even the discomfort of actually training. And on the other side, write down all the benefits of, of training in your mind. So the exercise for me kind of goes like this. There's a load of things that some people don't actually even consider in terms of what they actually get from training, like how much and their kids will probably look up to them because they see that example of, of, of someone who's healthy and is trained and they know that's a, per, that's, a, that's a reason to train in the future. So the example to your kids, the example to your family members, exact example to like, I don't know, just the random person walking down the street, that's a good reason to train and some people might not even consider it sort of their impact on others. So this exercise is pretty good. I'll, obviously, I'll share mine with you. This is what I do with my clients. I get them to do it and I share mine and see what what they might have on, on theirs and what I might have on mine and what they might not have even considered as some of the benefits of training. So it's a pretty good exercise. Uh, give it a go. So on one side, you're going to write sacrifice and suffering. On the other side, you're going to write patience and delayed gratification. And once we can understand, okay, these are all the things that we have to give up or have to kind of do to get this all this other stuff on the other side. And you kind of use that when you're training, okay, this is what I actually get. This is what I'm putting myself through all this work for. It kind of puts it all into perspective. But if you just think training is just going to be fun and enjoyable the whole time, it, it's, it's never going to kind of work that way because it has to be something you go, I'm very conscious of how difficult this is. I'm doing it anyway because this is all the things I get from it.